Pumpkin Station coming up in Telangana State, India. This prestigious project, particularly package number 8, which is Underground Pumpkin Station taken up by M.E. Eigel. Main is having 25 years of experience in infra-core sectors. Pioneering in electromechanical engineering work. That's why Meal taken up this task and doing gigantic work with proven skill and engineering marvel experiences. This is challenging work. Nobody, that means no company, no government, so far did this work with such gravity. But male doing this work with full commitment and dedication with world class quality and technology. If you see or listen the salient features of the project, definitely you will be wondered because this project magnitude, complexity, complications and facing the hurdles while executing the work are not normal. All are gigantic nature. This work is first of its kind on the globe. Salient features of Package 8 of Kaleshwaram Highest capacity of pump on the globe 89.14 cumex age Highest capacity synchronous motor on globe pumping station 139 megawatts Highest pumping head 117 meters. Biggest underground pumping station delivers 2 TMC water per day. Not an easy walk. Emmy Isle doing this are core and important works. Protection panels, 11 kV switch gear, 415 LT distribution panels, station unit aux control panels, EOT cranes, power and control cables, starter panels, station battery and battery chargers. DC DBS, UPS system, pump house lighting, DG sets, lifts, 415 emergency boats, AC and ventilation internal telephone, firefighting, pump house earthing, lighting, 11 kV 415 UAT, erection and commissioning. BHEL scope of materials will be supplied in small pieces to facilitate the transportation in various dispatch units. Pier nose, draft tube, foundation ring, stay ring, spiral casing, pit liners, embedment pipes, impeller, shaft, bearing housings, guide apparatus and servo motors, bearings, etc. pertaining to pump. Similar, 
rotor spiders, punching plates, rim building materials, poles, pole keys, shaft LGB, UGB bearing hosings, thrust and guide bearings, stator in segments, winding and insulation materials, coolers, slip rings etc. in motor. All the loose supplied components of approximately 1600 dispatch unit boxes per unit mainly from BHEL units of Bhopal, Rudrapur, Jhansi, Bengaluru will be unloaded at stores. Preservation, transportation to erection site, pre-assembly, erection, alignment, welding, testing, pre-commissioning and commissioning to be carried out for erection of one pump set by MEIL. On successful installation of all the pump components, the pump is commissioned by starting auxiliary equipment in a sequential manner. The sequence of startup and shutdown is programmed in the control system. On initializing, the run command control system generates run commands to all required auxiliaries, viz. Compressors, cooling water system, PP sets for MDV and governor lube oil system, etc. Sequentially, with parameter monitoring, on ensuring the required parameters, the main motor receives start command through SFC and build up the rated speed of the pump. On ensuring the protections and system parameters, motor will be synchronized to 400 kV grid through bus duct and pump transformer, isolating the SFC system. The water will be pumped by opening the discharge valve and guide vanes. With this, it is evident that BHEL will supply only loose components or main machine which is manufactured at factory having good infrastructure. MEIL scope starts from transportation of BHEL manufactured components from their factory, engineering and procurement of balance equipment of 60% of plant requirement, transportation, storage, preservation, installation and commissioning of the pumps at project site with all odds. Surge pool water will come up to this point through gravity. From here water will be sucked through draft tube and pumped put to the delivery mains at a height of 117 meters. Pump transformer which is fed with 400 kV power to the pump through the transformer. The transformer ratio is 400 kV by 13.8, 140 megawatts capacity transformer. Each pump has its individual transformer. Each pump consumption is 400 kV voltage. The power will consume in megawatts, it is 140 megawatts. Stator having big hole and internal winding that we receive in four parts. We will assemble it and wind it. Second part is a rotor. The rotor we receive in very loose items of 0.5 mm thick and 5 kg material. After build up, it becomes a 9 meter dia rotor of 160 tons weight. Rotor will be inserted in the stator and this will be running. It is coupled with pump. Pump will be running. We will be getting water. This is electrical cabling for the motors. 190 floor elevation. MDV main discharge valve. Once open the valve, the water will be going out.
main discharge valve the size of the valve is very huge compressor system for the governor operations oil will flush through this compressors start the pump water will be depressed through the air system depression system during the startup of the pump to avoid the lead water on the impeller pushed down through the system second part of the pump steering assemble steering governor operations and mdv operations meil using the hydraulic systems at a higher pressure of 60 kg to build up a 60 kg pressure meil using these pumps this is the foundation of the motor and its inside motor is assembled only we are seeing the outer let us go inside and see the motor now the pump alignment is completed assembling the shaft seal which is the crucial part of the pump after shaft seal assembly other bearings will be boxed up regulating links of the wicket gates regulating ring power cylinders cooling water system depression piping mail doing this work with high technical and electromechanical capabilities to complete in time and pump the water into fields through canals day and night engineering teams skilled labor doing work with minimum load equipment with high quality output once again megha engineering ready to prove metal and engineering capacity with the completion of biggest pump house in the global this is going to be recorded